Gangsters, what's up guys? So I am by no means a Node expert or even a Node intermediate user. However, as I was learning, as I was looking to learn more about Node.js, I found that there was really no videos explaining exactly what it is. Uh, you know, there are some that kind of get, show you some code and uh, you know how to do a basic Node.js application. Uh, and in this video, I want to kind of explain what Node.js is, and I don't really want to show much code. I just want to show a very simple example of just one of the small things that you can do using Node.js, and there are multiple libraries and plugins. So with that said, here is the Node.js so website. You can come here and click on download and select the uh, download for your operating system. And after you download that and install it, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to run a JavaScript file as a server. So you can go to say localhost uh, colon 8080 and have a JavaScript file that's running as a server. So you can talk to the server and the server can talk to the client. It's some really cool stuff. So I'm inside of a directory here called socket.io, and what I'll want to do, I'll show you the files that are in this directory. There's app.js, index.html, and node modules, which is a uh, folder of libraries that I've created using the socket.io library. I wouldn't even really pay much attention to that, but what we have here is uh, two basic files, app.js and your index.html. The app.js is the file that we're going to run the for our, this, we're going to run that as our node server. So to do that after you have node installed, it's a simple node app.js. Once you run that, then your node server is running. So what I'll do is I'll go to localhost colon 8080, and this is where my app is located, where my node.js app is located. And what I have here is just a simple text box and it simply displays hello. So right now, it, you can't really see what it's doing. It doesn't seem like it's really doing anything cool besides just appending some text to a div above the text box. But if I open up another window, you can actually see, I can type something else in here. And as I click the button, it's refreshing the page. And it's actually not refreshing the page. Uh, what it's doing is once, once you click on the button, it is sending a message to the server. And then the server is, that's running the node, that's running our node server, it is then taking that message and then it is sending it out to all of the open sockets. And each of these would be an open socket that's open. So anytime I fire this event, it will send that message out to all the open browsers. And you can see the power of this because it's basically taking away page refreshing. I mean, you don't, you can have real-time analytics, uh, simple chat, uh, anything that you want to just uh, update without having the user to refresh their page, you can simply have the server talk to the client. So the server can have events fired that send them out to all the open web browsers. So that's really the basics of it. I mean, you can check out my code. I'll probably post it below. But I just wanted this video to be a simple representation of something that you could do with Node.js. Uh, I am additionally, I'm using the Socket.io library. So you can feel free to check that out. I'll have more tutorials in the future about Node.js. But I just wanted to create this video, and I hope that it clears up any little confusion that you may have had. I couldn't even get those words out. But yeah, I hope that helps somebody out, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.